Hi everyone, it's me, Dr. Stacy Betancourt, with another edition of Making Sense with Dr. Stacy. Today, we talk about treasures. Now, lately, we have been kind of going through items that we don't use anymore, uh, things that we've been holding on to for no good reason, and we have decided to let others take them on and make them part of their world. And in doing so, I found a container of things that actually belong to my parents and more dominantly things that belong to my mother. And it was kind of interesting because clearly these some of these things were her treasures. And I also see similarities in my mother to myself, which kind of surprised me when I thought about it because I've always saw myself as being very different than she was. And, but yet, it's interesting what takes on. For example, I love to do beading work using beads and sequins. And I love to do, do the embellishing and I love to create different styles and artwork and just with different beads and different colors and different things like that. And I noticed, I found in some of her treasures that evidently at one point she enjoyed doing the same thing. Now. It could be said that I do this because she did this and she showed me how to do it, but that's not the case. Some of the items actually had dates or receipts or price tags from way back, um, back when they were paper and made with a little gun um, with the price. And some of this stuff was done before my birth. And a few things were done shortly after my birth, like maybe a year or so after my birth. And it obviously became a situation where she had now two children that were little and working with beads and jewelry and little items that could potentially be hazardous. Well, she kind of stopped doing them. And yet she kept these things. These didn't leave her. And it's interesting to me because obviously this stuff still held importance and value to her, an emotional value. So there's a difference between a, a monetary and an emotional. And this clearly had an emotional attachment for her. And it's interesting to me because clearly it became a difference of time. And the idea is she left the hobby behind and still held on to the artifacts. So the, the part of this is this find, these artifacts are actually part of her. And it's interesting to me doing the same thing. And that leads me to you. What are your treasures? What's something that you really enjoy doing? And yes, I am a runner and I love working out, but I also love doing, being creative. I love to create stuff. These videos every week are something I enjoy. It's creativity. And the thing is, is that what do you treasure? What's your treasure? What do you enjoy? And the thing is, is that of the things that you treasure, do you still do them? And if you don't, why? Ask yourself why. And if it's a question like my mother, that it's compared to time and having the time, I have considered what time can do for us and what time can do to us. And when we rob ourselves of time, specifically honoring ourselves to do more of what we love. We all have heard the phrase, life is short, and it is. So what treasure are you robbing yourself of? Because life is busy. Life is always going to be busy until it's not. Something to think about. So what I want you to consider is every day, every 
single day, do one thing you love. Do one thing you treasure. Because I'll tell you something. If you're able to integrate one thing every day that you love and you treasure, and that's part of who your identity is, if you rob yourself of that, life becomes rinse and repeat. And it's something that I've talked about before. The more you are able to add in your treasures mixed with the things that you have to do, life becomes just that much sweeter. So do yourself a favor. Pull out your treasures. If it is trains, little small trains, if it's adult coloring books, if it's crocheting, if it's beadwork, if it's painting, whatever it is, bring it into your life. Keep it into your life because it really will make a difference in your overall outlook. So trust me, give yourself some grace. Give yourself the gift of grace. Do something good for yourself. Remember to be kind to others because we don't know the journey they're on. You're on your own journey. And just grasp it, take it, enjoy it. Take life, enjoy every second. So for this week, enjoy, do something you love. And whatever it is, let me know in the comments. Keep it clean, but let me know what it is. For this week, this is another edition of Making Sense with Dr. Stacy, and I am Dr. Stacy Betancourt. Take care, have a great week, and I will see you all next week.